What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean. I've had a bunch of requests to update my overclocking video for the Z390 AORS Master Motherboard for BIOS Revision 11C. So today, I'm going to show you what settings I'm using to get my 9900K up to 5 gigahertz. All right, here we are on the default main page of the BIOS. Um, if you're unfamiliar with stuff like this, you can enter the BIOS by pressing the delete key when the computer boots up. And by default, this comes up in easy mode. Now we're going to want to go over here and click this or hit F2 to go into advanced mode. Okay, here we are on the main advanced mode page. Now this is the favorites and we're going to want to come over here to tweaker to change our settings. So we have this on default. The base clock is set to auto or 100 megahertz and multiplying that 100 megahertz times 50 on our CPU clock ratio is going to give us 5 gigahertz. Multiplying the 100 megahertz times 47 on the ring ratio is going to give us 4.7 gigahertz on the ring. We'll look in advanced CPU settings. So down here, um, I just manually enabled all eight cores instead of letting it be on auto. Really didn't change a whole lot in here. Um, I did turn off some of the C states. I'm not sure if those are totally necessary, but I just typically turn those off uh, when I'm overclocking. And I left the turbo power limits on auto. So X and P I have disabled. I set my memory multiplier manually. And down in the advanced memory settings. So in the advanced memory settings, I come to the memory channels timing. And this is where you enter your manual timings. Your best way to do that is probably just to take a picture of the RAM stick or something and just copy the timings off of that. But everything else I just left on auto. Ninety-nine percent of the time, uh, oh, ninety-nine percent of the time, these are the only values that you'll need to mess with. Down here on the V core, this is the main voltage for the CPU. I've heard on these boards, a lot of these Gigabyte Aorus boards, you need between 1.33 volts and 1.36 volts for the 9900K to be stable at 5 gigahertz. So just go ahead and mess with it and see what kind of voltage you can run your system at. Um, let's see. Auto, auto. I have this set to 1.35 for my particular memory kit. These I have set to 1.16 and 1.19. If you leave those on auto, they can kind of spike up pretty high. And let's see, advanced voltage settings. I pretty much left all of these on auto. Except in here is where your load line calibration setting is, and I have that on turbo. But that's pretty much all for the tweaker. That's most of the settings that's going to get you up and running. I really haven't messed with anything in this um, as far as overclocking. Um, yeah, once you, once you are um, ready or you want to save a profile, just come to the last save and exit screen, go to save profiles. And you can save, you know, different ones. I have, you know, my test one. This one, it was crashing because I had the voltage too low. This I was running uh, with just XMP, but leaving the 9900K at its regular clock to test some stuff. And this was me messing around with it again. And this is my current profile that I have loaded up. So. You can really just, you know, save it so you know what you're getting into. Maybe you want to have a profile for the stop clock and one for overclock. It's nice to have some options. But after that, you just hit F10 to save and exit. And once you do that, you should be up and running at 5 gigahertz. 
this is not the fastest booting board. Um, I'm booting off an NVMe SSD, but it's not the fastest. <laughs> My little Dell Optiplex boots way faster off of a SATA SSD. I'm not sure if that's because of um, the volume of storage I have in here or what. All right, here we are. We got it up and running at five gigahertz. And um, yeah, it's performing pretty well. I did notice just the slightest um, loss of performance with the newest BIOS update. I believe that's because of the updated microcode uh, to address some vulnerabilities and whatnot. But essentially it's the same performance as I had before on the five gigahertz. You can see here I lost about 100 points between my best ever score and that was with you know all of my background processes killed and everything super tweaked so for everyday performance this is pretty much in line with a normal uh, Windows score on the old BIOS for the system. Alright and here we are up and running in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and we're pushing the 5 gigahertz. It's running just fine. Temperatures aren't too bad with these settings. Um, I'm using a 240 millimeter Corsair H100i Pro. It's a, just an AIO water cooler. So you're gonna wanna make sure you do have like a decent cooling solution uh, to keep a 9900K at five gigahertz, but it's nothing out of the realm of possibility for just like a decent mid-range, uh, you know, 240 millimeter AIO or maybe a big ass air cooler. I'm not sure about that though. I've never tried running this on an air cooler at five gigahertz. But it's doing a good job. This game is pretty um, taxing on the CPU for a single player game. Right now you can see it's using about 50% of the 9900K, which for a game, that's actually a lot of CPU usage. And this is one where, uh, you know, running on a quad core or something definitely does impact the gameplay and smoothness. All right, hopefully this gets you up and running at five gigahertz on this motherboard. Um, mess around with the voltage a little bit if you can. The lower the voltage you can get away with, the better your temperatures are gonna be, and it's better for the longevity of your chip too. If you got any other comments or questions, drop them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.